In this video we are going to see how to get started with R, how to uh, install, download it and how to where to find your reference card that will be a very valuable tool in learning this language. So uh, first in the description of the video there is a link to download the R uh, installation package. Uh, the page looks like that and uh, this is the link for Windows this is the latest uh, R version uh, uh, at the time of the recording of this video and uh, then you uh, run the file that you got it will give you the security warnings, it's ok ok, select the language it's a very straightforward installation, if you're having trouble there is many uh, other uh, pages which uh, are more detailed on how to install the language but it, it's very straightforward just keep going next, next <coughs> now that you've finished uh, installing it you should have um, a new executable in your menu and uh, if you when you execute it you should get this window that window that I am right now. If you got to this window you have R installed and working in your machine. And here uh, this is the R console. It's it's very straightforward. You type the command that you want here and let's see like create a, uh, a group of elements or I don't know like operation. Uh, it gives you the result right uh, after the comment this denotes that a new comment is starting and this denotes just the row number of the answer that it gave back and this is the answer specifically if you press the uh, arrow up it browses to the history of your latest comments that's very useful because frequently you have to to get back to the comments that you did before and mm, that's pretty much it uh, in the description also you can find uh, the link where to download your reference card I really recommend that you download it and print it and have it with you all the times you should learn how to use it and how to interpret the, uh, the how to understand the help that is, is written there and I, I usually highlight the comments that I most use to find them quickly it's hard to memorize all these comments so it's very good to have this uh, help with you additionally you can type the question mark and the name of the comment that you want help let's see for instance the C comment that I just used uh, it will open your browser and will show like the what the comment is used for a description how to use it this is the comment and the parameters or arguments that you pass to this specific comment here it is explains which each uh, what what each argument means. Then some details of how the function works. And finally, there is uh, very useful here the C also, which uh, shows uh, similar comments or comments that should be used together with this comment. It's very useful to find other new comments that you want to use and the examples that you can just copy and paste in uh, in your R language in your R console and they will uh, give back the they should be executable uh, additionally if you uh, type twice the question mark it will not show not search only for by the common name but also anywhere that can find this word for instance if I search for uh, matrix matrix is a comment but should appear in a lot of other comments also and you can see that it gives you uh, a report of uh, in each comment in each like help file in which this comment is found and he, uh, here you see the first the which package has the comment and then the name of the comment because each package has have its own comments and well in the next video we are going to start uh, really programming and seeing how to manipulate data in R. See you in the next video.